Master Grade Wing Gundam Zero. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2R2B's Gundam Reviews. .net. And you've already seen for this Master Grade Wing Gundam Proto Zero, I've been ignoring the proto part for the most part here, and it's just been most of the focus being on the anime qualities of the famous Wing Zero finally here in Master Grade. You've already seen some of the comparisons and some of the features of the MS itself, but this guy has too many iconic poses. I'm going to see how many I can recreate from some of the ideas, of course, that are going to be around the box and in the manual, and I'm sure you've got a whole lot more. Would love to hear your thoughts on your luck with posing this guy and what you're about to see. And say what you will about the four fingers here, but they are going to do a good job of holding the beams. As he's actually going to be doing a decent job on the ground, you'll notice that the ankle's not quite flat there, and he is going to feel just a tiny bit wobbly, and perhaps it would be nice to have some more rotating options there for the wings. But nonetheless, this is a guy that you do not want to get to the start of a combo in when you meet him up close. But oh, who am I kidding? This guy comes with a stand and he is meant to fly for a reason. And this connection so far... No complaints whatsoever. As up in his natural habitat, you remember because he's going to be hung on at the back there, the legs, they're only going to be as strong as the weakest part of that double ball joint there for the waist. But nonetheless, with the different angles that you can get the wings at there, Angle them up this way, bring them back this way, whatever you want to do. But with those bright green beams there and to go along with the jewel in the chest, this guy again, you do not want to get too close to. But who can forget that even the shield can be a solid piece of weaponry slash defense. As the colors on the shield between the yellow and yes, it is going to be a green sticker, but nonetheless... And I can't help but be reminded at the end of Zeta Gundam, where the O met the end of the Zeta, well, actually the shield, which is very, very similar here, because you do not want to be at the business end of a transforming Gundam here. The yellow, the red, the white, and the, even the green seal, they're all going to be popping visually. And what's this mid-90s? A solid grip, as you can see, that the hand and the trigger finger is going to fit in here nicely and hopefully actually be able to support things for a change. And as he gets armed up in the traditional Gundam armament of beam rifle there and shield, I can't help but wonder, is this truly a 1-100th wing zero? Because uh, as far as I know, they can't hold their weapons straight out there. They can't stare down the barrel. And the barrels are all going to be a dull, dull gray instead of this very nice gray with all the yellow details on it. And yes, it's got some machinery there on the inside, but with the shoulders hopping up out of the way and the shield looking fierce, this we've waited too long for. And don't tell me that this is going to work here, that on the fly, you can actually go and twin buster these up. And the arm's not going to collapse downwards. Well, okay, not perfect, but he's still not doing bad. And with just a slight arm straightening there, if you don't mind the fact that I've lost that part at the end, Yes, a single arm on an undersized Gundam here in Master Grade is able to keep the weight up there and blast anybody and do it in style with only one hand. But oh no, let's take a look at this. There is more. Wings open, arms up. Never have I loved having a rotating turntable more than I do at this moment. If the pose isn't quite perfect here, just hold it against me, not against the kit itself. You can get the legs exactly where they need to be, angle the wings exactly how you want, this way, that way. They open up well, and look at the details that are going to be exposed when it's there. But with the shoulders and the thrusters bending up out of the way, that white piece out of the way, and the head angrily looking down, again, you do not want to be on the ground against a good player in Gundam vs. Gundam. And if this was the wing anime, if this doesn't capture the power, I don't know what does.
And no matter what angle you put it at, I had the camera below, now it's up higher. But this is the kind of thing you're going to want to design your display in such a way that you can get a rotating turntable there and get the guns out to their full length and just have them spin around. And whether you're looking from a straight on above or below, is this almost tears to the eye territory? And wings open, and one leg in front of the other, the twin busters in either hand down to the side, and the head staring up into the heavens. Really, I don't think this guy has a bad look to him. And oh my, how these two can get along. And with the fun you can have with the twin busters out in either arm, you could be for forgiven for forgetting his most iconic pose, which this Master Grade is going to be doing a very good job of capturing. But to spoil the mood here a little bit, the feet and the lower body, they're not going to quite cooperate in terms of getting into a sitting position as much as you'd like, and a little bit more twist over here for the wings could just make them that much more visually appealing. But then again... I don't really know what else to say, besides stick a fork in me, I'm done. Anyway everybody, hope you've enjoyed this look at the mobile suit, I'll be back with the transformation and my verdict, just one more part. Please let me know what you think of the MS, the kit, I'm sure there's lots of you out there who have built it up yourself. Is it even worth comparing to the old guy anymore? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this as much as I did showing it off here. Thanks for watching everybody, see ya. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to a perfect mission here in Master Grade Form.